How's it going, everybody? I'm Pierre Piscatelli, and I'm gonna teach you all how to play one of my favorite Steely Dan tunes called Pretzel Logic. I know that a Steely Dan tune has been long overdue, so I figured we'd start with this nice minor blues. I hope you enjoy it. Let's play an A octave with our left hand. A and A, just like this. We're gonna go thumb pinky like this. If you haven't already done it, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It's so helpful with the growth of this channel. Thank you. Now that space where I'm holding the third A with the pinky, right? That's where the right hand is going to play. So this should already sound familiar to you. We're going to play a B minor chord, B, D, F sharp, and go straight away to a C major chord. So all together, it looks like this. So that will serve as your introduction, and you can make it as long as you want. Once the actual form of the blues comes in, meaning the lyrics, the verse, right, once things are actually going and the song has started, you really only do this one time, because right away you have to move down to F in the left hand. Still an octave, still the same rhythm. And the right hand will respond with a G major triad and an A minor triad, like this. By the way, I use the fingers one, two, and four, and then one, three, and five in order to make these quick transitions easy. You don't want to use the same fingers between two rapid chords like this. This will stiffen up your hand into a claw, and then you end up jumping all over the place and missing notes. So use different fingers when you can. Anyway, that looks like this. So at the very beginning, move. Now we go back to A. Do this twice. That's the first four bars of the blues. Next, we're gonna move our left hand up to D, and the right hand is going to play an E minor triad inverted. So B, E, G, like that, and then up to an F major triad also inverted. So C, F, A, like that. So that looks like this. And you do that twice, two bars. After that, we come back to the one chord. Two times. Once you have that, here's where the fun begins. This is where everything is reharmonized and nothing like a traditional blues. So what we're gonna do is play a D triad in the right hand over E in the left hand. Beautiful chord. A lot of names for this chord. Some people call it a sus chord for suspended. It's not totally accurate. I just call it D over E, because that clearly tells you the chord and the root. So D with a slash and an E. After you do that, move the right hand up to an E major triad, E, G sharp, B. But the left hand is going to go down to A. This is where the magic happens. That's the famous Steely Dan chord. E over A, like that. You can also think of it as an A major nine. Here's one, three, five, seven, nine, but missing the three. So you could call it A major nine omit three, right? That's completely legal. But I think it's easier to think of an E chord over A, much simpler. So again, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is move that down a whole step. So C triad in the right hand over D in the left hand, and then resolve it to a D triad in the right hand, D F sharp A, and a G in the left hand. So in total, that's like this. It really doesn't get more Steely Dan than that. So practice that a few times. So you do that several times. Let me kind of walk through it with you guys, so. Okay, that's one progression through all four chords. 
That's the second time. That is sort of half of the third time. So it's like two and a half times. So on this very last one, we're not gonna go, right? That doesn't happen. We end on this E over A, and we're gonna go to a C major seven, which means C in the left hand, and G, B, and E in the right hand, like that. Then we're gonna migrate up to a D major chord, like this, which is D in the left hand, A, D, F sharp in the right hand, and then back to C major seven, like that. So in total, Like that. And now the ending will kind of take us back to this rhythmic pattern. Bum, 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 right? Thumb to pinky. On the notes F and F. And the right hand will play a G triad to an A minor. You've done this before. Now here's what you haven't done. The very last thing, G in the left hand, and a quick sort of oscillation in the right hand between a C triad inverted, G, C, E, to a regular G triad, like that, and you go. So three times, quickly going between those two chords. This is again why you need to use different fingers. If I can't just hop and go bum 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 with the same fingers. So notice I'm playing one, three, five, one, two, four, and doing that three times. And then we go back to the beginning. And that is how you play a Steely Dan blues. So let me go through the whole thing again. Now, if you want to add some variation in the left hand, you can copy some of the bass part, which goes. Some people do that, so it would be like. I think it sounds too busy, and if I'm playing in a band with people, I don't really need to do that. Um, but you know, it's just another option that you have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.